Bonjour, hello, welcome to Max Mountain World. Today I just bought a pair of skis. Going to take them out for a quick spin. So I'm travelling fairly light today. Uh, I'm not going to take my poles out for two reasons. One, I want to get a sense of the balance and uh, just the general manoeuvrability and stuff of these skis. And also I'll do it all on the GoPro 7 white. Uh, this pole thing, it's an extending one, it's a balanced pole and uh, it doesn't fit in any pocket so I'll be carrying that around. Anyway, on to the blue skis, let's go! Now a really neat thing to do here is we've got the new chairlift at the back here. Now there's quite a lot of empty chairs going up so there's likely there's no queues down there. I was going to, if that was looking busy, take the tunnel up and then ski down. But this will give me a little start going down the little red run to the, the six seater, the new chairlift, the Prebois. Had a quick change of plan. 8th of March, midday-ish plus two degrees down here in the station. Could be a bit colder up the top, but we'll go and see what the snow's like. I've not been out for about four weeks, <laughs> so uh, see what, how it goes. So as I head up this never-ending tunnel, you can see a beautiful clear day today. Not too many people about, so I might as well just fill you in on this. The Salomon skis, these are quite a unique shape and style. I've seen a lot of people use them, they're new-ish. They come from someone who, it's a personal thing, they've not been ex-rental or anything like that. And as such, they're pretty good nick. So they've not been over uh, serviced or anything like that. So we'll just say we go at that. Now, when I say they're fairly new, they're new to me, obviously but they're fairly old, as in they've been around this particular type of ski for oh, many... Oh, oh. A stoppage! So yeah... <laughs> so, they've been around a while, but oh, yeah, every time I've seen those. someone skiing on these, and they are a unique shape, so you do recognise them straight off from other skis, is I've seen really good skiers on them. There's not been many sort of beginners, intermediates and stuff. So that's an indication it's a pretty good ski. Anyway, waiting this thing going and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. So all the ski schools heading home for lunch. That's the best time to go out when they're coming in. So, <laughs> bonjour. So a nice little run down this little green run here. So far these skis feel like they need a bit of speed for the best control. They're okay at slow speed but just one little fast bit back there off cam. And they were great. Quite a good edge on them as well but obviously they've been brought back to a sort of as new standard. So we head down the centre here at the main station. Nice for carving actually, once you get a speed. Yeah. Okay. When you come up on someone, aim for them and then move away. Over a bump made by the snow machine and we'll head down and then head up. Okay, so first lift up, go up to the first level and then head up higher. And it should be quieter up there because as you can see, everyone's heading down, they're almost at the bottom now. So, uh, new skis are feeling good. They're a bit heavier than the other ones, than the Atomics and a bit heavier than my Rossignols, but they seem to be very good. But we'll get up the top and get uh, a few other things done, experience what they're like on ice, on soft or whatever. There's not much soft about, but me knowing the place inside out, I'll find something. 
So after four weeks, I, I'm noticing so much snow has disappeared, it's melted, it's evaporated, but they're keeping the piece in really, really good nicks, so no off-piste, but uh, or maybe a little bit soft piece off the side somewhere or whatever but as it goes higher there's obviously going to be a, a different situation not so many green and brown patches so go up and see what these bad boys can do so just heading up the top here now up to where the zenith restaurant is at 2530 meters of altitude and as i predicted hardly anyone about here they've all gone to lunch so uh, first challenge will be the first part of the piece off of this. It's quite a steep place that tends to get a bit icy at times. So that'll be a nice opportunity. I'm just watching what other people are doing and listening. And people generally speak and aren't having problems. So it looks like the skiability of the snow on the piece is pretty good. Not hearing much too, so ice must be fairly limited. We'll see, that could be famous last words. This guy isn't injured, he's just sunbathing. <laughs> right, down this bit. These feel really good on this. Good edge on them. Of course, down the sides where all the powder is. Yeah. So, you gloved up, follow this chap down. And again on the sides. Going backwards too. All right. Let's get a lick on a seat. A few turns, tight turns. Wow, these are good. They might be seven or eight years old, but they're like new. Wow. Right, so just hooked up with these guys. She took his pole and he took the camera. <laughs> so just to show what it's like from someone else's point of view. So. Not bad. So I was just over there, the Pustel lift, and then I came down this big wide piece, back down to the main area, and uh, I'm now on the Fontaine's lift up the top here, off the next peak. Bonjour! Right, let's see if we can get ahead of these guys, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Here we go. I'm gonna go back under that lift. and carve. And a view check 
Wow. One more run up that says enough about these skis that I, I just can't get off the damn things they're so good especially at speed the carving amazing uh, it sounds a bit daft thing to say but skiers will know I'm talking about the control in the air of jumps and jumps and kickers and things incredible so uh, yeah I was up to about uh, just under 100 kph according to my phone and uh, no chatter no nothing and the control issues none at all so very happy with it if anything the downside is slow speed not quite so great but not bad anyway that's it for today thanks very much for watching keep subscribing and until the next video ciao a quick outtake on the outro on the sunglasses cam. This is really nice. Nobody here.